All right. I think we're... Oh, oh my gosh. I think we're good to go now. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Um, a larger crowd once again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Taken Pokemon Requests. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Um, as the title says, today we're going to be taking... I'm going to be taking your Pokemon requests. I'm going to be drawing them um, in just about as much time as I got. Um, hello, hello. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be drawing, you know, a bunch of Pokemon based off of your requests. Hello, <laughs> are you proud of me? I'm trying to draw hands. Yes, I am proud. Good one. Good job, Mushroom Addict. Um, but yes, um, welcome in. So before we get going, like, we did a poll. We know what we're starting with. We're starting with Galarian Rapidash. Um, as the stream goes on, once I finish one, I'll ask again what you guys want me to draw, and then you guys can suggest. Um, but for now, we're going to do the plugs, because we always have to do the plugs. Because if you didn't know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together. So if you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below, and check out our website for our class offerings, where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors. Because we're not just a YouTube channel, we are an art school too. So if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, some hitters, whoa, so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month, where you can get access to tons of perks like my working files, critique sessions, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots so be sure to check those out before they are gone okay was it swag vibes but yeah we're gonna be starting with galarian uh rabidash because that was what won swag it's just like oh i should have saved this file before i started does my audio sound okay by the way let me know if i need to turn anything down need to turn anything up You know why you just started using references? You should be using references all the time, bro. That's just a thing you should do. Oh, I should pop out this chat so I can... <laughs> I can read it while I look at references. Okay, vibes. The audio is perfect? Fantastic. Please draw a small if I already did. He's right here. <laughs> My boy's got anxiety. He's already he hasn't even been here for a whole generation. Oh, this is the wrong brush. Let's use this one. That's better. You should make a YouTube channel, yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I have been thinking of uh streaming on Twitch for myself though. Cause I got a lot of friends on there. What's my favorite Pokemon? I love Noivern. That's why Noivern was number one. <laughs> I would have loved to draw Noivern. Like that would have been like the my number one because I am a huge fan of Noivern. When I was younger, it was Superior. Um, and then Gen 6 came around and they gave me a Bat Dragon. I was like, all right, they're speaking to my soul right now. I have references for all the Pokemon that you guys will be requesting um, off to the side. But I'll ask you guys again when I need another Pokemon to draw because right now I'm just going to be doing them one at a time. I used to, because like there was a lot of, it was a lot, whoa, there was way fewer people in here when we, the last time we did a Pokemon request stream. Um, so I just took the, re uh, the requests right off the bat. But now it's like, oh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> so I might as well ask way later. I'll take the requests one at a time. I see a bunch of people asking for Absol. Fun fact, Absol was my very first um, shiny that I ever caught. I caught it in black and white. And I caught an Absol in the grass. I was like, yo, what? So Absol was my first shiny. And then my second shiny was a Saw's Buck, and then it was a Woobat. I believe that's what the order was. It's been a long time. <laughs> Am I going to color them? Maybe. It depends. I might, like... I might. <laughs> it's a hard might right now. I don't know how long it's going to take me. That's my main concern. 
Makuhita was your first shiny. Makuhita's a fun choice. Most Absols are in black and white. Oz, technically they're in like a like a navy. A navy and white. Not really black. Absol is definitely not underrated, for real. <laughs> oh, how many of y'all love Absol? Oh my goodness. Is that just like a fan favorite? Is everyone's favorite just Absol? Like, is that just like everyone's saying? Oh, Torchic is my best friend's favorite Pokemon. Oh no, wait. Isn't it Blaziken? It's like, it's it's that whole line. She just loves that whole, like, Torchic line. Keep for Greninja. A lot of people like Absol. I've noticed, yeah. I guess I'm doing Absol next. <laughs> Considering the chat. Oh, yes. Happy Pride Month, y'all. Happy Pride Month to everybody. Icarus next. <laughs> I'm assuming you mean Arceus. <laughs> Be who you are for pride. So true, fam. Be live your truth. Live your truth. Be be yourself. You you know this Pride Month. Live your live your truth. Live your Live your truth to the full extent that you can. Be proud of who you are, my friends. Oh my goodness. Is that lawnmower loud? Can you guys hear the lawnmower outside? I'm so sorry if you can. Yo, I saw a ducklet. So true. Love ducklet. Why, why won't it let me... I can't just click naming. Oh, yes. We're in, um... Barely. You can barely hear it. Yes, no. Some people say no. Some people say yes. Can't hear the lawnmower. I'm glad. If you can't hear the lawnmower, that's good. But if you can, just let me know. <laughs> so I can change my audio levels a little bit. That's not the right brush I wanted. Let's use this one. Why not? No. Where's my stabilization? I can't turn that up. Is it where is it under? I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Texture. Color erase. Correction. There we go. Stabilization. turn it up just a little bit you don't mind the lawnmower you hear it big inspiration no worries i'm glad you find me inspirational jesse is secretly hiding a rotom in my house bro i wish you know how nice you know how, okay wait let me pause for a second okay i have a i have a google home right imagine if that google home was like a rotom Right, imagine if, like, it was, like, a Rotom Google Home. That would be so sick, for real. Like, if you just had, like, a... Like, a Rotom be your Google Home. That'd be so sick. Yo, no name, Archeops based. So true. I love Archeops. Archeops was, like, one of my favorites in black and white. Um, like, my two... I don't care what my professional Pokemon playing friends say, alright? I had my, my favorite, too. Like, I had my two favorite Pokemon. When I played black and white as a kid was my superior and my archaeops named alex those are the two that i had my superior was named sammy and then i had my archaeops um named alex and i'm like i gotta bro leafeon is bad but also cool looking bro leafeon is so good i don't know what you mean leafeon is so great i love the evolution line a bunch of y'all are asking for flareon too fascinating see y'all's favorite is Flareon? Do you, and who actually came? Okay. Eeveelutions. Who's y'all's favorite chat? What's your favorite Eeveelution? I am gonna have to go with Umbreon because I'm kind of basic. Though I do also really, really... 
I like I'm kind of I'm kind of like biased towards like Glaceon and Sylveon because Sylveon's so cute like I love the like I'm, I'm so like a, such a sucker for the the pink <laughs> the pink design Umbreon, Flareon, Sylveon, Leafeon Jolteon as well plus Umbreon all of them based Next evolution is dragon. Bro, imagine a dragon type evolution. It'd be so cute. Just having a little dragon dragon fox thing with you. Okay, I might actually not color this because I don't want to spend forever on um, all of them. So they're, they're probably going to be in black and white. I'm just seeing how fast it's taking me to, or how long it's taking me to draw these. I want to get through as many as possible. I should make a dragon evolution? Maybe. If I if I ever have the want to make a fake mon. I'm not really much of a fake mon creator. I have a friend who is, and he loves making fake mon. I remember one night we went over in a call for like <laughs> Oh shoot. How long was that one? That was like a that was like an eight hour call and he was like, yo, 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 let's just make fake mon. Or he's like, I'm gonna make fake mon just because I wanna draw. And I was like, yeah, go for it, man. And he just spent so long. He made like a whole Photoshop document. It was like nine fake mon in there. It was so sick. Seems like a cool guy, yeah. <laughs> Were you there, Oz? I don't remember. <laughs> Either that or you showed up like after he'd completed a bunch of them. Can I do Arceus? Probably, mate. Probably later. He was there for some of them. I. Yeah. What am I drawing right now? I'm drawing Galarian Rapidash. Actually, I drew this anatomy wrong. Whoops. The mind horse is failing me. The first time I did the mind horse, I did so good and I've never been able to do it again. I forgot he was a Pokemon archive. is very good. I didn't expect it, right? <laughs> no, he's great. I love, I love watching him draw. It's very fun to see him get excited about art. Wait, he's a public figure. I don't know why I'm talking about him so discreetly. Scarecrow sketch on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Scarecrow sketch. I'll shout out my friend. Why not? Um, professional shiny hunter and TikToker. Can I do Yuxi next? Um, I'll ask you guys for suggestions when we get around to it. So right now it's just the... I gotta save this. Right now I'm just drawing this Rapidash and then I'll get to suggestions when we get to um, the next portion of this. Yeah, you're requesting what, I, what you want me to draw. Um, obviously I'm not gonna change in the middle of me drawing this Rapidash. I'll, I'll start... I'll start taking requests again once this Rapidash is done. I'm gonna keep them all to black and white though, just so I can get through more. I might do, like, light shading. I might. I don't think so, though. Hello! Hi, Ray! My favorite human being! Welcome to stream. Orange. What about orange? What do we... Oh, like, the shading color? Actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> my favorite human being. My animator friend that I mention all the time. Ray, was it Torchic or was it, um, so, like, Combuskin that was here? Not Combuskin, my bad. Um. No, why can't I remember? Blaziken, was it one of, which one of those was your favorite again? <laughs> it's bugging me. Rapidash looks so good, thank you. Oh, Torchic and Blaziken send the same level of favorite valid. It is beautiful. It's my my love, my when I was younger, I loved my little pony. It's my my like my love of drawing horses coming back. <laughs> Depends on the context. Valid. Oops. No, stop it. 
I have any advice about digital brushes? I only have two brushes for years. I don't know how to get comfortable with using more. I've, like, when I was younger, I used, like, two brushes. Like, that was all I ever used. <laughs> I use maybe, like, seven or eight very regularly now. But I have a whole library just in case if I need others. Really, it's just, like, you slowly start to find brushes that match with the style that you want. Like, I've started to find that I really like rough, rough edge brushes. Like, ones that are a bit more textured. But I also switch what my liners look like depending on what I want to go for. Like for something that I want to move faster and I'll use a textured brush just because it's like, oh, I can like think less. Because like with textured brushes, I think less about it being clean because it already looks kind of messy. So, like, if you notice that, like, for all of these, like, requesty streams, I tend to use a textured brush. <laughs> for those of you who have been here for long enough. Do you think? No worries. Is there a chance you could drop Lantern? He doesn't get enough love. You're gonna have to request it when we get around to there. I do love Lantern, though. I love that whole evolution line. Chandelure, underrated. Such a good-looking Pokemon. I don't care what anybody says, all right? That, that, that like... I love Litwick. Litwick is the cutest, like, little candle thing. But, like, that whole line is so good. Like, that lantern-y line. Lorantis is really nice, too, yeah. Art is really relaxing to watch. I'm glad. I've actually been told that by a few people. They're like, it's relaxing to watch you draw. I'm like, is it? I'm glad. <laughs> How do you keep a style? I keep changing mine. The thing is, is that your style is ever, it's ever evolving, right? It's never going to stay in one place forever. Like, even when you become, like, a professional artist, like, I, I'm technically considered a professional artist. It's like the... It, like, I find that my style has evolved since, like, if you came back, if you were here with me, like, a year ago, my art looked completely different. Or maybe not completely different, but still fairly different, right? And the techniques that I use and the way that I go about drawing certain things was different. Because we as people have different... Our, our aesthetics that we love change and the way that we illustrate changes... Um, but your style becomes more refined as you get older as an artist, as you slowly start to, like, you know, feel more concrete in your work, and you've got most of the- most, if not all, of the basics down. You know, and then eventually you're just like, yeah, I'm just kind of experimenting with my work now, and you just kind of keep working with it. If anything, your style standing still for too long is a problem, that means you're plateauing. True. Very, very true. I find that I'm plateauing. I've been plateauing as of late, and I'm like, it, it bothers me. So I've just been like, all right, give me give me difficult things to draw. That's what I'm going to say. Give me some of your most po difficult... I'm just finishing up Rapidash here. Give me some of your most difficult Pokemon that you want me to try drawing. Give me some of the harder ones. I want to do something tough. Have you ever had to worry about detail in animal-like legs or hands? Not really. I mean, I love drawing hands. Like, that's something that I grew to love drawing. Um, if Ray is still in here, Numawik, she knows that, like, when I was younger, I would complain about hands all the time. <laughs> um, now I'm like, because she always loved hands, I didn't. But I was like, as I got older, I'm like, yeah, I love drawing hands. Like, it's become something that I've grown to love. Hi, yes, you. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Chalk God Arceus. True. Why can I not? <sighs> Crying. The stabilization on here handles differently than Photoshop's. It's fine, it's fine. You know what? I, I do like it better. I still like it better than Procreate stabilization. I will take that to my grave. I don't care. <laughs> or no, I will, I will, I will keep that statement till the day I die. All right, I don't like Procreate stabilization. It's too strong. If you like Procreate, that's fine. I don't hate Procreate. It's just the stabilization is so heavy, and I'm like, bro, for what purpose? Nice. That's not too bad. I might actually switch up the lines in a couple places. It's a bit too... a bit too neat. I 
I mean, a good chunk of y'all were, were requesting Absol, so I think that's what I'm gonna do next. But, like, what, uh... What version of Absol? Are we talking Mega Absol or OG Absol? You remind me of me, Valid. Is composition really necessary in your art? I saw someone ask this in my art course. Miss Ma'am Jesse, any words on that maybe, please? Absolutely. Composition is always important in your work. If you decide to go like, oh yeah, I'm just not going to include composition in my work, your work will not be neat, bro. You got to make sure that you're putting like, even if it's just like a character in the middle of a sheet of paper, you're still thinking about composition, right? You're putting the, the character in a, on the sheet in a way that makes them, um, A, the... the like the center of focus B make them interesting in the center of the sheet right you're not just gonna place them there and make it boring right you kind of like you 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 can tell when somebody's a little bit more seasoned with their work versus when somebody's a bit more of a beginner because their composition feels stronger right when you have somebody in the center of the page and you're just doing character compositions um the way that you lay out that character will be different if you're actually thinking about composition right if I was to think about composition I would think about like you know um, that would be when I'd start thinking about the golden ratio. I'm like, okay, where on this character do I want people to focus on? More often than not, it's the face. So the face will be the part where I'm like, yep, yeah, let's have most attention drawn to that. So then I'll like, maybe the arms are doing something that points up to the face, or maybe like, it's just in almost like in a, a the face is like landed on one of the rules of thirds or something like that, right? You gotta think of that fun jazz. It's, there's always there's always gonna be composition in your work. It doesn't matter what kind of work it is. So yes, you should always think about composition. Sorry, let me go back. Oh, a bunch of y'all want Mega Absol? I... Do I like to draw gory art? I am a horror artist, for those who don't know. Um, I do love my horror. Um, I don't tend to make it very, like nasty horror i love my like kind of unsettling horror that tends to be what i what i prefer um but no not really let's lock that real quick just so i can add some light coloring i want to i want to give galarian rabbit ash just some light shading they deserve it. Happy Pride Month, y'all. You know what? Actually, I just noticed. Rugalarian Rapidash is very it's strangely appropriate for Pride Month. So you know what? This is for y'all. This is for everybody who is celebrating Pride right now. Good for you, bro. Live your truth. This is for all y'all. Live your truth. Be proud, bro. <laughs> the class likes to bully you for liking dragons. They're just not cool enough, bro. They don't like dragons. SMH my head. If they, they're like, if somebody bullies you for liking dragons, clearly they're just not cool. Like, I'm just like, that's just, that's just, that's fact. I... <laughs> exactly exactly yes exactly going to a pride festival on the 26th nice nice hope you have fun i myself unfortunately do not have any time to go to a pride festival but i do have a lot of uh my friends who are snom Certified snob moment. So true. I I drew an emote for a friend's server of just snob with a little heart. The emote was called certified snob moment. So every single time that I see snob, I'm like, yo, certified snob moment. <laughs> uh oh, F. I'm sorry, bird. One day. really love drawing dragons i adore drawing dragons dragons are something that i grew up on it was like at one point i had the nickname from family friends i was called the dragon girl because all i ever drew were dragons 
<laughs> I was obsessed with drawing dragons as a kid. Grew up reading Wings of Fire. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. So I used to love Wings of Fire. Like, I, I, wrote, I read Wings of Fire religiously as a kid, right? And when I finished it, like, I finished it, quote unquote, and I thought that it ended at book five. And then I went to go teach a class, and one of my students was like, oh, yeah, I read, I read book Wings of Fire. I'm like, oh, no way. I loved Wings of Fire when I was a kid. And she was like, yeah, I finished book 12. I was like, what do you mean book 12? <laughs> Right, and they're like apparently it continued after book five because book five was so final that I didn't expect there to be more. And then like I looked online and I'm like, yup, there it's there's a lot of books. And I'm like, well, I, <laughs> like I'm not gonna catch up now, but like man, I'm glad you. You know what? Wing fight, wings of fire nation, rise up right now. You guys must be living. Percy Jackson nation is living right now. To be real. Favorite tribe of Wings of Fire? I love the Rain Wings. The later books are better? Mm. That makes sense, because then the writer would have been developing their style. Yeah, Percy Jackson Nation living right now. The new Percy Jackson TV show that's coming out. And then, like, the Nico and Will series that's been announced? Bro. I need to finish. I need to finish. Every single stream I say, whenever Percy Jackson is brought up, I say this. I need to finish... The Trials of Apollo, because I haven't yet. I will. I promise I will. One day. Man, don't remind me for real, right? <laughs> All right. Next one. Let's actually move these. Can I move this? All three? Ooh, let's go. I can just select them. Fantastic. Not every program can do that. That's great. That helps. All right. It was Absol, right? Mega Absol is what people wanted next. Skywings are your favorites? Vibes. Yeah, because I just really like Glory. Glory was my favorite character. Whoops. Yeah, Mega Absol, I got y'all. I don't think I've ever drawn Mega Absol. I've drawn a couple of the Megas, but I haven't drawn them all. I haven't drawn a good chunk of them, though. Glory was so relatable, right? <laughs> I loved Glory. Okay, this needs to be small. Before I do anything else. Zerua. I love Zerua. Zerua was my favorite Pokemon for a really long time. Especially when, like, Hisuian Zerua was released. The entire time I was playing Legends Arceus, I was like, yo, where is... Where is Hisui and Zerua? I was so sad when I was like, it's in the last area. <laughs> I did not care. I raised that Hisui and Zerua and it was part of my team. What did they name him? I, I remember I, it, was a, it was a boy. I think it was Zircon. I think that was his name. Cause I name, I like to name my Pokemon with themes. So I was like, I wanted this one to be like, um, gemstones. So like all of my Pokemon were named after gemstones. So Jade, I chose the Rowlet. So my Rowlet was Jade. Oops. Oops, there we go. There's <laughs> um, not a lot of angles for this Pokemon. <laughs> Bang. Have I done a dragon tutorial yet? Yes, actually. It's old, but it's there. Bro. Why are there no references for Mega Absol? No good ones. Okay, there we go. I'm noticing that Mega Absol kind of has the same process. Like, now that I'm drawing it, it has the same process as, like, a Sonic character. <laughs> In terms of the face. I'm like, yep, that's the same kind of, like, sneer that Shadow the Hedgehog has. Apologies if I'm offending Absol Nation, but, like, I'm just saying... 
Gotta go fast, so true. I was watching a bunch of the... A bunch of Sonic dubs last night with a friend. It was so, like, those are so funny. All right, y'all, don't spam your, uh... Don't spam your wants, please. If, if I get to it, then I do. Hello, Kay. Welcome in. Rowlet. I love Rowlet. Sonk. Mega Tyranitar. Good design. What I miss. I drew Galarian Rapidash. I'm doing Mega Absol right now. I might have offended Absol Nation by saying that the process of drawing it is very similar to drawing a Sonic character, but like... <laughs> what, what would you say is the Pokemon type I draw the most? Sheesh. I don't know, because like I don't, I don't actually draw Pokemon that often. So like if I'm drawing Pokemon that it's mostly with other characters... Like, for the show that shall not be named, there's a Pokemon AU. And I, like, I've given everybody, like, everybody's, like, a gym leader. Everybody has, like, their own po partner Pokemon. Whoops. Why is there a copy? Can I delete this? Can I delete this, please? Delete. Thank you. <laughs> um. Yeah, I got that. You got those Sonic paws, for real. I love my Galarian Ponita. Perfect choice. So true. Yeah, Kieran's Galarian Ponita. Such a good choice. I was like, it matches him. It's so true. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm awake. Welcome in, Marlene. Perfect timing. We just started talking about show that shall not be named in the Pokemon AU. <laughs> not the Sonic. It's so true, though. Are you going to keep the stream up after it's over? Yep. I always do. What's the Pokemon in the thumbnail? Good question. Uh, what's the thumbnail look like? <laughs> Someone want to identify that for me? I'm too lazy to go look. <laughs> yeah, please draw Eevee if we get to it. I'll be taking a request when I ask for them, y'all. So once you ask for a request, I will take a look. Also know that spamming does not help your choices. I will be choosing based off of what I want to do. <laughs> Mega Absol really out here with wings. Like it went so extra with this design. Layer below, there it is. I was like, where's the name? Where's that one? Weren't people spamming Absol though? It was a bunch of people though. <laughs> it seemed like the majority wanted Absol, so I was like, oh, okay. But if it's just like one of you who like keeps on saying the same Pokemon over and over, then I'm like, man, oh, I'll do that. But if it's like a bunch of you who wants the same Pokemon, I can do that for sure. Pokemon Ranger is an underrated gem. A lot of my friends would agree with you. I personally have not played Pokemon Ranger, so I have no I have no say in the matter, but I have heard that it's really good. You should do a poll if you know how. Yeah, I suppose I could do a poll. Pokemon Ranger, there she is. <laughs> I was like, is is Ray still in chat? gonna be turned on soon you should play it one day ferret is adorable ferret's pretty cute yeah not 
not sure if Mega Absol looks like an emo teenager or a Karen. So true, Moonskunky. <laughs> I'm saying that it looks like an like a Sonic character. Like it's the the like the the bang over the one eye. Like that kind of vibe. It feels like a Sonic OC. There's nothing against that. It's just it it has that vibe. It's a great look, but like it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. I love Mega Absol, but it does look like <laughs> it has the Sonic vibe. I love that for it though. Oh, it has like a quiff right over here with his hair. So true. I love Sonic characters. Sonic characters have a very good vibe. They have a very like, it's unfortunate what the fandom has done, but the Sonic characters have a really good like energetic design that I really like. What abs- what animal is Absol meant to be? Good question. I don't know, actually. Someone wants to look that up. <laughs> Alright, chat. Here's a real question. Right, here's a real question. Scarlet or Violet? Who's getting Scarlet? Who's getting Violet? And then why? Tell me why you're choosing one or the other. Dog Mrs. Cat Mrs. Angel. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. A bunch of people picking Scarlet. And based off of Oh, I can't pronounce that. From Chinese mythology. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I don't want to butcher that. I do recognize that name though. You like the legendary prop for Scarlet. Scarlet's legendary is cooler. Either because I'm poor, Felon. <laughs> Violet Scarlet, Scar sucker for red. I'm going with Violet, y'all. A bunch of y'all seem to be going for Scarlet. I'm going for Violet. I am a huge, like, sci fi nerd. So, like, I feel like I'm a big sucker for sci fi. So, like, sci fi dragon, sci fi prof. So true. I'm down for that. Say, do you say Violet? Vibes. There's a lot of people in the stream. Whoa, yeah. We've been kind of we've been kind of popping off lately, so I'm like, can't read everybody's messages now. Red and purple are your favorite colors. Valid. Scarlet, do you like the female prof more? I'm a sucker for that sci-fi man, bro. Professor Turo, so true. He looks like the Giga Chat. Like, how am I gonna, like, turn, like, it's so, like, what am I gonna do, man? Like, <laughs> He's the guy from the chat beef. Exactly, exactly. He looks like the, he looks like the Giga Chat. It's so funny. <laughs> when there were 20-something regulars. For real, right? <laughs> Thinks Violet's cover art is cooler. I do like the... I love the... the legendary for Violet. It's just so cool. The, like... the robot dragon? Like, what? That's so sick. What starter, though? That I'm not sure about. For me, I have to wait until they evolve. I'm not really sold on any of them. If Sprigatito stands up, bro, I'm not getting Sprigatito, okay? I can't. I can't have another Pokemon that stands up, okay? Not another cat that stands up, please. I'm so glad that I chose Rowlet instead of Litten, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. No, those are com two completely different gens. My bad. Um, right? Shoot, they started to blend together at one point. What gen was Litten? I took shoot. <laughs> Hang on, no, I have to look this up. Oh no, it was it was it was Litten, Poplio, and Rowlet, right? It was all that. 
Litten was Alolan. Okay. Okay. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. I chose Rowlet. I chose Rowlet because I was like, I was like, bro, I can't. <laughs> I saw the evolutions. And I'm like, no, I'm going with Rowlet. I don't care. <laughs> If you get Fuego Co, you're naming it Applesaurus. Cute. There's literally an Apple Pokemon, bro. It's Cinderor traumatized you, valid. Infernape. I'm gonna be real with you. I. It is controversial opinion. Controversial opinion, okay? I was like. Infernape is Gen 4, right? I was never a big fan of the Gen 4 starters. I liked Pitclub, I liked Turtwig, I didn't mind Chimchar, I just, I like, I wasn't very strong about any of them, so I was just kind of eh with a lot of the starters for Gen 4. I know a lot of people love Gen 4, and I'm sorry. In terms of, like, the art, like, I'm just, like, I wasn't a big fan of the of Gen 4. The game comes out on your birthday? Nice! Cannot accept this Torterra slander. I like Torterra. I have no qualms with Torterra. It's just not a design. It's just not a, like a Pokemon where I'm like, yeah, that's like one of my favorites. It's like, I'm like yeah, it's cool. But like, I have no, I have no strong opinions. You know, Axew is adorable. I do love Gen Five. Gen Five is my favorite Gen. Like, I'm a big fan of Gen Five. It was just so funky, so funky and so fresh. I always feel kind of bad because I skipped Gen 4 and 5, had them, and never got into them. Really? Gen 5 was so funky, bro. The soundtrack, the battling, like, actually a vibe. Still gotta play Gen 5. Yeah, Gen 5, like, bro, you want a funky Pokemon game? That game is funky. It's got funk. Like, the soundtrack, banger. Absolute vibes friend of mine was saying yesterday he was like he was like it's as if the gen 3 track was just better <laughs> it has like the same kind of like trumpets vibe but it's like better and it's true it's just like it's so funky i have like a gen 5 i have a cumulatown as my ringtone for my phone <laughs> what i think about dusk like in rock i personally love it i have become very very biased towards that all like in rock because like um, for the show that shall not be named, I gave, um, I gave Socks a Lycanroc, and I was like, yeah. He's the, he's the Pokemon professor, so I was like, yeah. So I've, I've become very attached to Lycanroc. Cinderace is a fun design. What did I choose in Sword and Shield? Shoot, what were the starters for Sword and Shield? I didn't choose Cinderace. I didn't choose the... What were the starters? I don't remember. Oh. Um. Oh, right. I chose Sobble. I chose Sobble for Sword and Shield. I named him Azur. I named her Azur. It was a girl. I remember. I still think my favorite Pokemon line, my favorite um, Pokemon naming system that I had was unfortunately wasted on Pokemon Let's Go, but it was uh, Planets. My Eevee was named Pluto. I think that's the cutest thing ever. You named your Sobble Basil? That's so cute. Like after the, after the spice or after the character? Female starters are super rare. Are they? For the last few games, I've been getting nothing but female starters. <laughs> I still have not recovered from show that shall not be named. This week has been particularly crappy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt the same way, Marlene. You and me both. <laughs> You have nightmares about Pelipper. Do you mean Pelipper? The big uh, boy with the big mouth. 
Helifer? What's a show that shall not be named? Um, it's my other job. I technically can't say the name of the show. It's not hard to find it, but I technically can't say the name of it. Because <laughs> it is a it is an 18 plus show. But I will talk about it very often. Each of us Pokemon show? No no no, it's a D D show. I just have a Pokemon AU for them. I'm one of the illustrators and uh, merch designers. Yeah, it's a D and D show. I will be asking what Pokemon I want to do next when we come around to it. So I will, once Absol's done, then I'll, I'll ask y'all again what you want me to draw. And I'll see if there's a consensus or if there's just one that I like that I'm going to pick out from there. How do we find it? Um, you definitely can't find it in my Discord profile. So join the Wayne Canvas Discord. Am I going to get Pokemon Scarlet or Violet? We talked about this earlier. I'm going to get Violet. I'm a big sucker for uh, sci-fi. Big Robot Dragon, Tron Professor, so true. Favorite dragon type, go, Noivern. Noivern's my favorite Pokemon of all time, which also so happens to be a, a dragon type. <laughs> my favorite legendary? That's tougher. <sighs> I am a sucker for Pokemon Black and White, but I do think that Eternatus took it over because that's just so cool. It's such a cool design, bro. Like, I don't really care about stats, but like Eternatus, that design, that like skeletal robot dragon is so sick. Like, it's so sick. Faramosa was also really cool. I don't know if, like, Ultra Beasts count. Faramosa was also really cool. How do we find the show? Definitely not in my Discord profile. Rayquaza's pretty cool. I prefer Mega Rayquaza. No, that's not true. I like OG Rayquaza. Shiny Rayquaza, pretty sick. Do I have a favorite evolution? I really love Umbreon. Um, it's kind of a tie between... It's a tie between, like, Umbreon, Sylveon, and... Glaceon. Glaceon was my favorite when I was a kid. My favorite Pokemon of all time when I was really, really young. Um, like, prior to Black and White coming out. Then Black and White came out, and then it was Superior for a while. And then... And then once, like... Once Noivern showed up, I was like, bro, it's over. <laughs> Bat Dragon Pokemon? 100%. Do I only get irritated by the Rayquaza's design only because of its mouth? I think it's pretty sick. To each their own, though. <laughs> Thank you, Marlene. Yeah, so true. You won't be able to find it on my Discord. My Discord profile. Definitely not. Family knows I like Pokemon, so they got me both Sun and Moon for Christmas a few years ago. You still have yet to finish Moon. I got Moon because I prefer Lunala over Solgaleo. And, like, I think, okay, another controversial opinion if if there are any, if there's, like, Sun and Moon Nation in here. I, like, I, I thought that Sun and Moon was, like, very okay. I didn't think it was that great. It's It was very forgettable, like, to me, anyway. Because, like, I, I don't really remember much of what happened in Sun and Moon. I didn't even bother to try and, like, really fill out the Pokedex that much. I also didn't like Lily, okay? I don't care what anybody says. 
I thought Lily was a really useless character. It's just like, she was just that type of character where it was like, I can't do anything because I'm like, and then like, and she kind of had like this arc at the very end where she was like, yeah, I'm like, I'm becoming more powerful. But at that point I was like, girl, why are you here? <laughs> I, maybe it's just me being annoying, but I'm like, I didn't like Lily that much. All right, Absol vibes. Okay, now's the time. What y'all want me to draw next? What Pokemon are we doing next? Tell me, chat. Axu, Zorua, Mimikyu, Groudon, Nala, Lavrantis, Golbisopod. That's a fun one. Chini. Uh, I'm seeing a bunch of Zeruas and a lot of Lunala, actually. Archaeops, Joltik. Hmm. Chat is so fast right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting here reading through them. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of Eevee and Zerua. I'm gonna... I'm gonna create a poll, actually. Maybe. Zorua. Lunala. All right, y'all. There's a poll. Which one do you guys want? Eevee, Zorua, or Lunala? out here sweeping for real Whoop. I'm gonna let it go for like a minute yeah vote for the poll I never saw Lunala yeah so it's Eevee, Zeru or Lunala Zeru I'll give y'all a choice between Hisui and her original Only two people in the hound doing clubs, so so sorry, man. Background music so comfy, I'm glad. Alright, I'll end it there. Okay. Eevee it is. We'll do Eevee. I am, I am not picky about what I draw, so. Eevee I can do off the top of my head, I think. Let's make that a challenge. Let's do it as a challenge. Let's see if I can do Eevee off the top of my head. I'll finish the sketch, and then once I finish the sketch, then I'll check and see if it's accurate. Because I'm pretty sure I can do Eevee off the top of my head. What program am I using right now? I am using Clip Studio Paint. Um, we switch between three programs every week. So right now it's Clip. Before I used Photoshop. Photoshop is my primary program. Um, and then we also switch to Medibang sometimes. So next week is probably going to be Medibang. Because I haven't used it in a bit. Yeah, easy an easy one. Chat, next Pokemon that I want to request, give me a hard one. Give me a toughie. Give me a like a like a like a for the next for the next Pokemon that I'm drawing, give me a Pokemon that's like underrated. Or like one that like is just completely random. Like Bruxish or something. <laughs> Dragonair. Dragonair is your favorite? For a really long time, Dratini was my favorite. 
or I really liked Dratini when I was only in the when I was only introduced to the TCG, um, way back when. I think I was like, I think I was like seven, and like a, one of my friends had a Dratini that she got in like a in a in a pack, and I was like, can I trade you your Dratini for my Flareon? And she was like, no, I love Dratini. I was so sad. <laughs> I'm like, I want a Dratini. <laughs> All right, is this correct? I did this off the top of my head. Let's see. Ooh, let's go. Kill him. It's true. All right. It's actually the nose is in a different orientation. Though. Celesteela. That's one that I didn't think I would see. <laughs> that is a random Pokemon. <laughs> What tablet do I use? I use a Cinti Kachin HD. Altaria. Altaria is the least favorite Pokemon of a friend of mine. not accept his Altaria slander. A lot of people don't, it's okay. Lickitung, that's another really random Pokemon. <laughs> Altaria is going to spread his bad days. I love the people who are saying that like all know ex-friend. <laughs> Guzzlord, the Pokemon with my favorite voice actor. Favorite English voice actor, so true. Oh no. No, they didn't change it. It's just Guzzlord's voice in English and in Japanese. It's so funny. He's just a guy. He's just a guy screaming. It's so funny. If you haven't seen that video, if you haven't seen that video, just look up uh, Guzzlord is just a guy and you'll find it. <laughs> Because Lord do be straight screaming though. It's so funny. The first time I saw that clip, I was crying laughing. Cause he's just like, ah! like he's like actually just screaming. It's so funny. I can't like full force scream right now, but like, my gosh. Lechonk, so true. I am more like I do love Lechonk. Lechonk is so valid. I do prefer small live though. Small Live Nation, rise up. I love Small Live. Like, the second I saw Small Live, I started crying. I was like, you're so cute. Yes, Guzzlord really is just a guy. He's just a guy. Guzzlord is top tier cosplay. Worn by a random guy. True. Small Live Nation. All three of them are the best. They're so cute. Yeah, the designs that have been released so far for like the wild Pokemon are so cute. Yeah, we're doing Eevee right now. Cause chat voted. Eevee Nation rose up for you. Castilla is underrated, probably. Oh, a hundred percent. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say Castilla in years. <laughs> Poplio? Poplio's cute. Lechonk is equal to Arceus, true. Lechonk Arceus this whole time? For real? No cap? Want to learn how to animate? I'm not an animator, bro. I couldn't help you. <laughs> I 
Just watch the video, right? It's funny. <laughs> Cubone, that's the name of my friend's dog. I can't, I can't see the name Cubone anymore without thinking of my friend's dog. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, Cubone, so true. If they ruined Small Liv and LeChong's Evos, I'm gonna cry. For real. If Small Liv turned- I want Small Liv to stay as a little scrungly, okay? We can't have another Roselia. Can't have another, like, Lorantis. Like, it needs to- he needs to stay as a small little scrungly, like, Whimsicott. I've just seen this guzzler clip. I have no words. It's so good. It's so good. Scrunkly little man. So true. He needs to stay scrunkly. He needs to stay as a scrunkly little man. Because if he doesn't, then like, the what's the point, you know? <laughs> Wait, I'm struggling. Hang on. <laughs> Eternatus is so detailed they ended it in 3D for the anime. Eternatus is the coolest looking legendary. I I don't care what anybody says. Eternatus is such a sick design. Like, it's so complicated and so fun. Unfortunately, as much as I love Eternatus, I will not have the time to draw it for this stream. Um, but that is one that I don't think I will draw. But man, Eternatus is so cool. It's just such a sick looking Pokemon. Like, this giant robotic like skeletal dragon it's so cool like it's just it looks so sick i'm so sad that it didn't have more time in the game like i was just like man i want to see this pokemon more like its name Eternatus. like that's really cool too like it sounds like dangerous you know it's just such a cool looking pokemon Kerbal mouse confirmed? Yeah, I have a Kirby mouse. You can see it up at the top. OBS doesn't pick it up moving, but yeah, there he is. He's, he's walking. Like, it just stays um, stationary. But yeah. Magirna, though. Magirna's also a really good design. How to spell the name? Eternatus? E T E. U.S. E-T-E-R-N-A-T-U-S. Eternatus. I believe that's it. Como is a great Pokemon. Como is a Pokemon that I really, really wanted. Like, <coughs> in Sun and Moon. That was, like, one of the designs that I was like, I have to have that design. Or I have to have that Pokemon. I never did. Oops. Let's merge that down. Chat, what color for Eevee? What color should the shadows be for Eevee? White? How am I gonna shade it in white, dog? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not coloring it in. I'm just doing the, the shadow color. Brown, purple. Green, brown. You're <laughs> shading. You're all good. A lot of people saying purple. I've already done purple for Absol. Brown and blue. Brown. Brown. A lot of people saying brown. I'll stick with brown. I'll give it like a nice kind of... Kind of goldeny brown. Whoops! That's the wrong layer. We're good. If 
feels great to just be able to ask chat questions. <laughs> like, choose for me, I don't know. <laughs> Let's, let's lighten that up a bit. So it's more of a light orange. Such a scrungle, so true. Scrungly little baby. Big stretch. Is a Pokemon of the left Galarian Rapidash? Yes. We've done Galarian Rapidash. We've done Mega Absol. I'm just trying to get in as many Pokemon as I can for the stream. How'd you make him so cute? Um, I am a cute character enjoyer. You want to make an Eeveelution fake mon? It's really bad. I want to forget I ever made it valid. <laughs> Have I ever done fake mon? I'm like, I'm trying to think. In my childhood, did I ever do fake mon? I don't think so. I think I just liked the canon design so much that I just never made fake mon. I certainly added things to the Pokemon. I remember there was a point where I was like, like, I had a bunch of Pikachu characters, and I gave them all different hair, but I feel like that was a common thing that a lot of people did. You've made fake mon. Yeah, a lot of people have. I don't think I was ever a fake mon person. I'm trying to remember. Like, I don't think so. Like, I never did fake mon. There we go. There's little Eevee. All right, now's the time, chat. What's the next Pokemon? What are we doing? Give me an underrated one. Give me one that like a lot of people would not ask for. Tyranitar, Dracovish, true. Oregon coughing. Arnidos, Noivern's my favorite Pokemon. Bubble Star is so, like, not underrated. Um, Ditto, Gallade, Castilla, Jinx. I'm not doing Jinx. Nara, Castilla, Porygon, Togekiss, Swalot, Bubble Star, Crawdon, Megatrainer. <laughs> Guzzlord. <laughs> I kind of want to do Guzzlord. <laughs> Too. LGM. Am I the only Ma Miss Magus enjoyer? You're not the only Miss Magus enjoyer. My dragon. Lie part I love. <laughs> Zigzagoon. I love Brexen. LGM is so forgotten. So true, right? <laughs> hmm. I saw Wishy Washy a couple times. Wishy Washy's a fun idea. Why might not prove me wrong then? Bro, look at all the art of Miss Maggie's. Malamar. Malamar's kind of funny. School form Wishy Washy? That's another fun one. All right, I'm kind of between I'm kind of between Wishy Washy and uh, Wishy Washy and Castilla right now. LGM's kind of funny too, but I'm kind of between Wishy Washy and Castilla because I just I want something weird. Hang on, Castilla. I think that's how you spell it. Hang on. I don't know how to spell this Pokemon. Oh, Celestila. My bad. Celestial and Wishy Washy. I'm kind of between those two. 
All right. I'm putting putting up the pole. Which? Castile or wishy washy? Or Celestila or wishy washy? I keep saying Castila. Castila is so similar to what's the what's the one? Hang on. It was the Castelia. That was the 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 city in Pokemon Black and White. Oops, Celestila taking the lead. Celestila is so weird. It's such a weird design, but it's so cool. Wishy washy's fun though. <laughs> yeah, same thing. I'm ending it after like a minute ish. Can I do wishy washy next then? Maybe. <laughs> I live in Castilia City. You do. <laughs> Is it school form? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll do another poll for that. Ooh, this color out of, of Castile is pretty cool. I like the I like the the bamboo-ish looking onion thing though. All right, we're ending it there. Celestila, it is. All right, let's look at this weird Pokemon. I need to look at it in like a larger, as a larger image. Yeah. What a weird Pokemon. It's so cool. I'm such a big fan of the weird ones. Chat was zooming, so true. Is it me or is Ash gotten slowly more annoying and challenges as each Pokemon series comes out? The thing is, is that like the Pokemon anime is meant for kids. So like his edgy arc in black and white was so unlike what was needed for the audience. <laughs> Like, their target audience are kids, right? So, like, having him, like, super edgy was, like, not necessarily what the was intended for the target audience. So, like, I get why he's being, like, a lot more childlike. Though I do, I do love this studio's art style by comparison to black and white. It feels more fluid, more fun. Castilla looks like two weird forks and a giant napkin. I know that Castilla is supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like a cathedral. Or like with these like towers and like bamboo sticks. Like to me, it looks like a rocket ship, like a bamboo rocket ship. I kind of love it. Like it's so weird. Or Celestila, I keep saying Castilla, I'm sorry. Celestila looks like a weird rocket ship. Like, I, I vibe with it. I vibe with this strange Pokemon. I'm kind of drawing it in the way like you would like a VeggieTales character right now. <laughs> Humor in the future will be randomly generated. Randomly generated? Randomly generated. Why did the chicken cross the road? weed eater it's literally the funniest video if you look up veggie tales predicted modern humor on ironically i laughed so hard at that video which says a lot <laughs> about modern humor but i laughed so hard <laughs> castilla hands are a giant fork listen man i think that they look like the bottom of like a spaceship you know what i'm saying like they look like the bottom of a spaceship Weed worker. No, it was Weed Eater. It was Weed Eater. It's literally like, yeah, if you look up VeggieTales Predicts Modern Humor, it's what, unironically, like, I felt so bad laughing so hard at it. I was like, man, they really did predict modern humor. <laughs> you have the weirdest dreams. Oh, I had a... I taught a class recently, and the kids brought up uh, dreams as a topic, and I started reading off my dreams because like I have some of the strangest, most vivid dreams. And I'm like, strange and vivid to the point where like one of my dreams I drew for a portfolio piece and I got it into the uni that I was going to. <laughs> It'd be great for twirling spaghetti, true. I'd say that that would be good for like 
it, it looks like a like a mixer you know when you go and like mix like uh <laughs> when you go and mix in like a bowl that's what it feels like to me Mixa, mixa, mixa. Why is that stranger such an amazing, art, amazing artist? No, it's like it, it was just because it was like it was it was funny that like I used one of my dream, like my dream was so vivid to the point where like I was able to draw an entire scene from it, and that illustration got me into university, <laughs> or it was one of the pieces that got me into university, you know. I mean, I was weightless regardless, but like. Yeah, Celestila. This Pokemon is so strange. Oh, I forgot the little ticks up here. I'm not gonna go for full detail on this, by the way. Like, we're doing. I'm gonna move as fast as I can with this Pokemon, but there's a lot of detail that I am not gonna get to. <laughs> was it a mistake to ask for a heavily detailed Pokemon? Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm still. How many? It's eight? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do seven. <laughs> Too lazy. Uh, Celestila is huge, bro. We're gonna need something thin to put there to, to sate my need for... Um... So called to say my need for a uh, symmetry. Now that I'm looking at it, both of these should be like this. Big boy Celestia, so true. Is it a bit burly? I always see it as like so thin because it's like it looks like it's like hair with like a neck. Pulte guys is super cute. My thoughts on Guzzlord. Guzzlord's a great time. Larvesta. I love Larvesta. Larvesta is so, like, I love Larvesta. I love that evolution line. I love Larvesta. I love Volcarona. I remember running into Volcarona in the desert. I was like, yo, what is this thing? I was like, I was so hyped to catch Volcarona because I was like, yo, it's a hidden legendary because like, I never looked up anything, right? I was like, yo, it's crazy. It's baby. It is baby. Giraffery? You mean Giraffaric? Thank you, Kay. Volcarona used to be your favorite Pokemon. Excellent choice. Best Fire Moth, so true. Sableye, good or bad? Sableye is excellent. Sableye is a great time. Sableye reminds me of level one Goblin. <laughs> Clearly I have no self-preservation. Watch the cursed episode at 7 a.m. Way past my sleep schedule. Forget that for a whole week. You know that. No, I understand. I watched the cursed episode at uh, 4 a.m. So I understand. Should I brave through the next episode of Star Lost Stream? Step Whoa. A show that shall not be named after this stream. Or should I wait for another day when I'm feeling less sleepy? Um, I would, I would wait. The next episode's really good. The thing is, is I braved through all of them and I don't remember episodes 23 to like 25. K, 
Kanga's Pond's pretty sick. Favorite Pokemon's Reshiram. Of non-legendaries, Volcarona. Vibes. I loved Reshiram as a kid. I still like Reshiram. I have no qualms with Reshiram. I have a- I actually have a Reshiram... Uh, figurine on my shelf. <laughs> Alolan Dog Trio had me asking what conditioner they use. So true. Alolan Dog Trio out here. Wasn't it like, wasn't it the Pokedex entry that said like, oh yeah, it's actually like, like fiberglass or something, or it's like made of steel. Like it's very like hard to the touch. Suicune's favorite childhood legendary. Suicune's an excellent choice. All right, chat. We've been talking about. We've been talking about. We've been talking about favorite Pokemon. What's your least favorite? We've been talking about ones that we really love. What about ones we don't like? Let's let's start some let's start some controversy in chat. I feel like being a little disturber. Diglett, Is her mind and Jinx? Infernape. Weavile! That's funny. I love a lot of people who love Weavile. Diglett. You, really? B2 Evolution line valid. G Gigantamax Duraludon? I love Gigantamax Dur Duraludon. I think it's so, like, dumb looking. It's so funny. Incineroar, Blastoise, Jinx, or Pyroar? I think that Pyroar was the last good, like, evolution line of Litten. Like, I think Litten was cute. Pyroar was like, yes, yes, Lion, and then it became Incineroar, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Opinions on Vanillite. Delicious. We'll eat. Oh, that's Tora Cat? My bad. Which one was uh, that, the one I was talking about? <laughs> Pyroar. Who's Pyroar? Oh, the lion. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pyro is pretty basic. Yeah, no, I get that. Alakazam is always... Why Alakazam is holding spoons? Um, shoot. I used to know the explanation for that. It's something with, like, because Japanese... like Or, like, psychics, they always have, like, spoons. And it's, like, a thing. It's like, oh, you're psychic. You can bend a spoon. It's that kind of... That jazz. Something like that. Litleo. Really? Probo Pass is your all-time least favorite. That's valid. Probo Pass does make me feel uncomfortable. To eat a certain ice cream Pokemon. That's why Alakazam has spoons. Valid. Alakazam just likes a soup. So true. Good soup. You gotta have a good spoon to have good soup. People over at my house. I'm trying to like, I, I like hear other voices. <laughs> oh goodness, I think I do hear other voices. Why are people home this early? That's fine. Least favorite is Jigglypuff. That's funny. You don't like Jolteon? Cries. Garboder's a vibe. I used to hate Garboder. I think I, I think I kind of vibe with Garboder now. Taking care of a dog right now, bro. So lucky. Luminion, you don't like Luminion, bro. Luminion has the coolest cry, dude. In like, in, like the coolest sound. I love the sound of Luminion. Valid, but like, it's like I, I love the sound of Luminion. Like muck, understandable. You don't know your least favorite? Pikachu. Literally the mascot of Pokemon, but an actual game's most useless thing. Just in my opinion, though. No. That's valid. I have a I have a lot of friends who hate Pikachu. I have no qualms with Pikachu. Pikachu was my favorite as a kid. Um, so I'm a bit biased. Or one of my favorites. Is 
It always annoyed me in that battle mansion in Gen 6. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Bro, I overleveled all of my Pokemon. So, like, when I got to the battle mansion, I was literally just in there to farm money. I'm like, well, I need money because I want to, I want a really nice, I want this really nice coat in this city. <laughs> better go to the, better go to the, the battle mansion. <laughs> Smeargle. Funky. Your least favorite is Pelipper. What did Pelipper ever do to you? Valid, though. Go ahead. I hate on that bird. Ash is used way too much in the shows, in your opinion? Bro, he's the main character. <laughs> of course he's gonna be used too much. He's the main character, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm, yes, get rid of the main character. Ash Greninja, though, like, legit creepy looking. I have no... Like, I, I know ex I know what it looks like, but I was like, I was like, okay, I mean, if that's what you're gonna do. Oh, Hypno Dude creeps you out, yeah. I think Hypno's supposed to be kind of creepy. I'm kind of like confusing myself with this like layered cloth thing. Like what's happening here? Hang on. What is this green onion looking rocket thing? remember yokai watch bro I, I remember when yokai watch first came out and my brother and his friends loved yokai watch at first they were like it's discount pokemon and then they got really into it and then suddenly everyone around me loved yokai watch and i was like what happened <laughs> and then it just disappeared i don't know what happened to yokai watch i don't know what they've been doing i don't know where it's gone but now yokai watch is just a thing that just has not been happening Isn't Parasect a zombie? We talk about creepy Pokemon. Parasect? I'm forgetting which one is Parasect. Oh yeah, it's like it's it was like a it was a crab that was taken over by spores. That's a real thing that happens though. It's based off of like um, shoot, it's it's like a type of mushroom that like if someone wants to look it up for me it's a type of mushroom that will like actually just take over the body of a of an animal it's real it's like a real thing cordyceps that's the one it's like the cordyceps will take over like uh i i just came back to me but like cordyceps are like a it's a mushroom it's a fungus that'll actually overtake like the body of insects and it'll use like the body to cordyceps will take over like and they'll use it They'll use the insect's body to take over more bodies. Paras and Parasect. I used to like Paras a lot more. After Legends Arceus, I don't like Paras. <laughs> Why is he so angry? Like, for what? For what? For what purpose are you so angry? Must you come attack me? For real. Like, for what purpose must you attack me and be so angry all the time? Yeah, okay. Similar to Among Us. The fungus. Yeah. Like, I remember... I remember thinking of Among Us. And I was like, wait! It's the imposter Pokemon! And I, I started killing myself laughing for like five minutes and then I went into call with my friends that night and I was like guys Amoongus is the Im imposter Pokemon and I started laughing again and they were like Jess you need to like stop <laughs> uh, 
My terrible sense of humor. Like, why are we... <laughs> we truly live in a society. Fungus got your Everstone. <laughs> Among Us equals imposter reel at 3 a.m. Not clickbait. So true. What if Wayne Campus started doing videos like those guys? You wake up one day and it's like... <laughs> Wayne Campus has uploaded a new video. <laughs> Among Us imposter reel at 3 a.m.? Do not call Among Us at 3 a.m. challenge? Not clickbait? Watch. What if that happened? What if you just woke up and we started making videos like that? I'm gonna tell you right now, it would not be me in that video <laughs> if we started doing that. <laughs> no, 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 we won't. <laughs> We're an art channel. We're an art channel. Do not vent at 3 a.m. So here. Don't mine at- Don't vent at 3 a.m. Just as much as you should not mine at night. <laughs> I'm just perpetually on the internet. Y'all need to like- I need to leave. <laughs> I need to go. <laughs> Oh, something calling at 3 a.m. was in your recommended? I'm sorry. I don't think any of those have ever been in my recommended. I've always seen, like, reactions to those and, like, talk, like, commentary videos about them. Like, Danny Gonzalez or whatever. But, I've like, I've never actually had one of those 3 a.m. videos in my recommended. I have a friend who watches them ironically, and she's like, just, these are, like, the best things ever. Like, you need to, you need to watch these. They're so funny. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that to myself. Like, why would I- <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> I've drawn at 3am before. I was up until 3am yesterday, so I understand. You got in here recommended? I'm so sorry. How do I draw so fast? I, uh, like, I focused most of my energy growing up into learning how to get faster. So, like, oh my gosh. So, like, a lot of my, like, workflow is done in a way where I try to move as fast as possible. Sonic at 3 a.m. bit and could not stop laughing. Valid. When you're using references, I feel like you're tracing, or is it just me? This is why, like, when I use references, I try to make the pose completely different. I try to make the angle pretty different. Like, I try not to make it so it's, like, really similar. And I always have my reference in a different window. I never have it on the same canvas. I make sure my reference is off to the side. Like, I have a reference open right now, but it's, like, off to the side, and I'm not really... I don't really have it within the canvas. It's usually best to avoid tracing when you can. You should never trace anybody else's artwork. Tracing photos is a little bit different because like if you're doing it for like learning, that's fine. But like you shouldn't 
if you take a picture of yourself or take your own picture and trace that, that's fine. Do whatever, man. Like, that's, that's totally fine. Um, but, like, if it's somebody else's photo, like, that's a bit different. Like, I have... For my for my webtoon, what I would do is like my webcomic, what I would do is I would like I have a I have a pig skull and one of my one of my characters has a pig skull for a head and like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna constantly look up images of a pig skull. So I have this pig skull that I just take pictures of and I trace it. Because it's like it's a lot faster to do that. Jesse, what age were you when you started drawing and how long did it take for you to get really good? I still think that I'm okay. Like, a lot of people are like, you're so good, Jesse. I think I'm good, but I don't think I'm really good. Like, I think I can be better. Um, I started taking art seriously when I was about 13. I've been drawing my whole life. You just have a pig skull? Yeah, I've got... Um, I have a suckling pig skull. I have a stoat. And I have a um, muskrat. Those are the three real ones that I have. I have two fake magpie skulls and one fake sparrow. Practicing your cat anatomy, anatomy feels like you're tracing it. If you're actually going over the cat and drawing on top of the cat, and you probably are, but like just try and break down the cat into shapes and it'll help you understand it a bit better. That's really cool. Yeah, I love getting, I love for art purposes, I love having skulls. I'm also just like, I'm kind of a macabre person, so I like having skulls as well. They are, just just to be clear, they are ethically sourced. I get them from a guy and all of the, all of the skulls that he grabs are like, um, they were either like already deceased, like they'd already passed, or um, it was meat from like, it, they were, it was like an animal um, where the meat was for like a zoo, like a local like a local animal shelter, zoo, or whatever. So, like, they don't really eat the skull anymore anyway. It's like they clean it up and they, like... And they, like, sell them for mostly educational purposes um, or for art reference purposes. So I have mine for art reference purposes. Um, because a live reference will always be better than a picture. Have to keep that in mind. I love skulls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, always make sure that if you're if you are buying skulls, make sure that where you're sourcing from is ethical. Um, that's really really important because you don't want people just harming animals because they can for decoration. You know, that's not cool. So you got to make sure that you're sourcing from ethical places. Do you have a favorite item or subject to draw? I love drawing teeth. You'll learn this about me. I love drawing teeth. I love drawing bones. Um, I tend to prefer drawing men. Um. There's, a, there's very few things. The easier answer is stuff that I don't like to draw. I love drawing, like, everything. There's very little that I don't like drawing. Um, like, I hate drawing... I don't like drawing any vehicular devices. I don't like drawing cars or planes or anything like that. Because they're a bit too tough. But I, I just like drawing. So, like, I don't have anything that I hate drawing, really. Teeth? Yeah, no, I love drawing teeth. I'm very fascinated by teeth. So I have a really big love of drawing teeth. That took way too long. I'm copy-pasting that. I don't care. <laughs> it's going to take way too long if I draw it again. Faces are the most fun for you? Yeah, Daria. Valid. What's your favorite aesthetic? Weirdcore and Dreamcore has definitely taken over my life as of late. Um, yeah. I think I've, I've, right now I really like Weirdcore. Weirdcore and Dreamcore has really been taking over my vibe as of late. Um, when I was younger, I loved, like, the pastel aesthetic. I still like the pastel aesthetic a lot. I love the neon aesthetic. Neon's aesthetic is, like, 100%, like... Like, if I had to choose one of, like, favorite of all time, neon is for sure what I'm vibing with right now. Oh, happy birthday, Omri. Hope it's a good day. Yo, it's the it's my friend's birthday today, too, and then my birthday's in 10 days, so vibes. Clutter core and goblin core valid. My whole room is basically cluttered clutter core, so. 
Were I, was I weird as a kid? I'm weird now, bro. <laughs> Saying this about a kid. No, no, no. I'm weird now. <laughs> never seen Pokemon? Oh, you've never seen uh, Celestila? Yeah. I'm too lazy to draw this section again, so woo. It's the same thing twice, so whatever. <laughs> What's the name of the webtoon? Oh, it's Say Hello, Grayson. There should be a... There it is. Daria's got the, the app. You can either find it... And, like, Daria just liked it, but you can also find it on my Discord profile. Um, please know that I have not updated it for six months, so <laughs> it has been kind of sitting dormant for a while. When will I update it again? Who knows? Celebi's your favorite? Vibes. I love Celebi. Celebi's super cute. I like, I loved Celebi when I was a kid. Do I have any anthro humanoid animal OCs? Yes, I have a few. That was like all I did in high school. So like I have a whole big chunk of them. Some older OCs of mine, I have like this, um, like my favorite four um, from when I was younger. Um, there was a Fox Boy, there was a Kieran Boy, there was a, and then there were two Sea Dragon Boys. Which is a type of, it is a type of animal, like it's a real thing. There was a leafy sea dragon, there was a ruby sea dragon. Those are the two boys. Um, but yeah, I had a bunch of those. It's literally the only reason I know so much about animal human anatomy, because like I really wanted to, like I liked human anatomy, but I wanted to challenge myself and find the relationship between um, animal anatomy and human anatomy. And I was like, you know how I'll do that? I'll just mix the two and see how they compare and how similar they are. And that way I'll have a better understanding of both. So that was how I, like, I looked at it from a very clinical standpoint. That's how I drew those kinds of characters. <laughs> the Dino line slaps, so true. I don't actually do furry art. I'm not a big fan of doing furry art. I find that it's like... Uh, hang on. How do I how do I say this? Wait, give me a second to think. <laughs> the very common furry style is a style that I'm not very, a very big fan of. Like the really oversaturated colors and very very bright bubbly facial types, I tend to not be a big fan of. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, clinically, there's nothing wrong with it. I have no qualms with how it's executed. It's just aesthetically, I'm not a big fan of it. I find that, like, for me anyway, like, the really large paws and the, the like, it doesn't, it doesn't vibe with me. Like, if you do it, so be it. Like, whatever. Like, I'm, like, I'm not saying stop. Because, again, clinically, it's, it's perfectly fine. And it's just, like, for me, in terms of, like, art styles, it's kind of like me saying, like, I don't like JoJo's art style at all. Like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Like, I hate that art style. Like, from a clinical standpoint, nothing wrong with it. I just don't like it. And that's, like, a main thing. Like, I, I don't consider myself a furry artist. No issues if you are one. I'm just, like, you know, not my, not my culture. Not my subculture. Favorite flower? I love the lotus. Lotus flower. Lotus, yeah, I know. It's funny because, like, I... Uh... Like, before, like, Lotus is, like, I've always, like, the Lotus has always been my favorite flower. So, like, seeing, like, I was like, oh, Lotus, <laughs> you know? What I miss? Not too much. We're just still drawing Pokemon. I'm finishing up Celestila. 
And then I'll do... I'll do one more really quick and easy Pokemon. That I think I can fit in. Ice cream is dessert. It is. Yeah, because I want one more Pokemon that I can fit here. So it needs to be kind of simple and small. Do I like memes? I kind of live off of them, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Only the biggest Morbius fans have never seen Morbius. You're not a true Morbius fan if you have seen Morbius. This is the truth. Yeah, we'll get to we'll get to what I'm actually gonna be drawing once I ask y'all. Like we're not there yet, but <laughs> but I'll I'll get to it when I say that I will. I'm still finishing up Castilla. Or Celestila. Uh, I'll never say its name right. Crying, crying and sobbing. I also don't really know where I'm going with the <laughs> with the shadows on this thing. It's like, yeah, I'll just stick on some shadows that feel brightish. They're good enough. Because <laughs> I've been spending way too long on this one Pokemon. Even though I am aware it's my fault. Any help with getting motivation and keeping motivation to draw? It's really hard to continue drawing when I keep messing up, can't finish anything quickly. Um, for me, sometimes, like, I know some, like, some people will actually give the advice, like, if you find that you have no vote motivation, you might be burnt out, so just stop. Um, for me, I tend to watch other people work. That tends to give me a boost of motivation. Um, the messing up, quote unquote, you need to accept that you will make mistakes, and there's nothing you can do about that. So like the, the be, being like, I just stop after I make a mistake, don't do that. Just keep pushing through. Like it's literally like, if you keep going like, I have to make it perfect on the first try, that's like, the, that's what you're killing yourself over, right? It's better if you just go like, I messed up, that's fine. I'll just keep going. It's a bit of a stronger mindset. It'll help you keep going. Torch is a great choice. All right, now's the time, y'all. What's this Pokemon gonna be? Something simple, something easy. Ditto, Mew, Pikachu, Zerua, Lantern. Yeah, 10 minutes. That's why it's got to be really simple. I've seen a lot of Mew. Okay, we'll go with Mew because Mew is really easy. 
And Mew will probably fit this section right here. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Mew. We're going with Mew. I used to have Mew memorized, bro. I don't have Mew memorized anymore. But yeah, Mew is easy enough where I can just... Mew is super cute. I just want something that would fit in this section, <laughs> this fairly small section right here. I used to have a, a Mew figurine. I don't know where that figurine went though. Music is awesome. I'm glad it's it's I chose something nice and chill. <laughs> what recording software you use? OBS, just like everyone else. <laughs> Thank you for the help. No worries. It's not even that I give up on the first try, I just try to do one line repeatedly. It's annoying when I can't just move on to the next thing because my lines are unstable. Um use a stabilizer. Um, but how I work with my lines, how I got them a bit cleaner is like I, the exercise that I gave myself was I worked traditionally. I went on a bus. Um, I had my sketchbook open. I used a pen and I would draw the patrons on the bus. Um, more, actually more specifically, I used a, a brush marker um, and I drew the patrons on the bus. What that taught me to do is A, work quickly because I don't know how long these quote unquote life models are gonna be there for. And B, it taught me to do everything on the first try because I'm forced to do everything on the first try because I can't erase and I can't undo, right? So I'm like sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'm working with this brush pen. Not only is the, the bus like super shaky, but I only get one try because it's with a brush marker. And if I mess up, then I mess up. I gotta move on or I gotta work with it, right? So what that'll do is it'll train you to not have to rely on the undo as much, right? It's fine to undo. It's fine to like, go like, ah, yep, I gotta undo this over, like, but like being like undoing over and over and over, it definitely slows your workflow down. So it's better to train yourself to do it on the first try. It actually sounds so fun. Oh, it's super fun. Oh, do I have a favorite legendary or mythical? Yeah, yeah, my favorite legendary design is Eternatus. Eternatus is just a, such a cool design. Do I have any weird crosses? Nope. I make my characters for things. I don't tend to be the person who's like, I'll just design this person for the sake of it. I like to have my characters either for stories or for D&D campaigns or whatever. So like, I don't tend to just design OCs because I can. I tend to design them for a certain activity. So like the current OCs that I mess around with a lot are my D&D characters. Like that's who I am focused on right now. Like I play as a I play as a dragonborn barbarian right now. His name is Corn Chip. He's eight and a menace. <laughs> Do I have a character to draw more than others? Yeah, it depends on who I'm focused on. Like right now, it's my D and D characters, so I focus on um, Corn right now, and I focus on my other D and D character, Kingsley, who's a, a warlock, a human warlock, and he's married to his patron. 
Corn chip. Yeah, corn chip. It's it's two words, so it's corn and then chip. That's his name. I Doing his voice strains my own voice a lot, but I can do it during the day because it's like... It's like louder. Looks amazing. Thank you. You got another D&D campaign? Well, I have one that I play in. Like, I don't play in show that shall not be named. But, um... Like, right now, the one that I, I actually play in is with, uh, Corn. Thank you. I love his name, too. <laughs> A beta Arceus? Normal Arceus? I think I prefer the, the new one. Am I good at realism? I had to learn it. I think I'm okay at realism. I don't think I'm amazing. Yeah, Korn's voice is like... I've had friends tell me he kind of sounds like Ash Ketchum. Because he's a little boy, right? So, like, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, like, figure out how to do a... Whereas Kingsley? I don't play as Kingsley. Kingsley, Kingsley, K-I... N G L King. Oh, I forgot the S. Kingsley Mateus. M I T E U S. Kingsley Mateus is just a character. He's a hypothetical. If I was to ever play as Kingsley, it's gotta be in a, a very specific campaign with a set of very specific characters. <laughs> the campaign that I play in isn't posted anywhere. My favorite shiny Pokemon? Good question. I don't know. Um, the first one that popped into my head was like shiny Eevee, which is really cute. Shiny Rayquaza is really cool. I don't really have a favorite shiny. Like, I don't really. I've never been a shiny hunter, never been a shiny collector. So it's just like, if I see a shiny, I'm like, oh, shiny. But of course, Shiplev. No, no, no. He's, he's not posted anywhere. Um,. And no, Kingsley I, I designed before Korn. Um, Korn was my third character that I ever designed. My first one was Caspian. I don't know if I'll ever play as him ever. Um, my Water Genasi Tiefling. Or Water Genasi? Genasi? Genasi. I don't remember. <laughs> I've somehow got to figure out how to claim or chain to a dagger to be wieldly in any way possible. No, 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 man. Not fun. You just, you just, you just mess around with it. I, like, I have a, I remember one weapon that I really liked to draw when I was younger was a, was a, was an axe tied to a chain. It is the most, like, wild, <laughs> the most ridiculous weapon. Like, I know people use it, I know it's real, but it's ridiculous, and that doesn't change the fact that it's ridiculous. Okay. If I was to select this area, and then if I do this... Oh, it does let me! That's nice. Edit. Um, change canvas size. There we go. Just want to crop that in a little bit. Ugh. Man. Style looks a lot like Gen 1 sprites. You're right, actually. Unintentional, but I do like it. Can I do the Zoro at? No, actually. The stream is ending, to be honest. Uh, do you have siblings? Yeah, I got a brother. Oh, fun fact, actually. So, my nickname is Jesse. Like, my real name's Jessica. But, like, my nickname is Jesse for Wing Canvas. And my brother's name is James. So, for the longest time, my dad, if he was gonna call us both, he'd go, Team Rocket, we gotta go somewhere. Because, you know... My nickname, Jesse. My brother and his nickname... My brother's name is James. So it's like Jesse and James. So it's like... 
<laughs> you know, I was wearing my dad if he wanted to call us. He's like, Team Rocket, let's go. Yeah. We unfortunately do not have a cat. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, my dad's my dad's an Omega nerd. It's where I got my it's where I got my nerdiness from. It's my father. My father. Meow, that's right. Alright. That's gonna do it for this stream though, y'all. Thank you so so much for joining it's been fun this is a really fun stream um this stream is you know gonna be available for you after um afterwards as a vod but if you if you're kind of new to the channel any of y'all not here normally um let me tell y'all a bit about the channel because we're not just a youtube channel we're actually also an art school so if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer, make sure to go to wingcanvas.com. That's where we go to the classes that are being offered. Summer camp is coming up in like a couple weeks. I am teaching summer camp. I'm teaching some of the teen intensives. If you are more of a intense, more of a advanced artist, that is the, that is, those are the camps that I am teaching. There are kids camps though. If you'd like to take more chill classes, mine is a gauntlet. I like to run mine like a gauntlet. So if you want to <laughs> take those kinds of camps, those are coming up soon. Um... This file that you see in front of you will be available as a JPEG on our Discord. If you'd like to join the Discord, we'll, this will be available up there for you. Um, you'll be able to download it, keep it, save it, do, it around, do whatever you want with it. Um, so you can download the JPEG and keep it and save it. But if you'd like the working file, that's going to be on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. We are going to be redoing our Patreon soon. We're going to be changing what's being offered. Um, but for $5 a month, you can get my working files once a month. Or if you sign up for something a little bit more expensive, and then you get two working files a month. Um, but yeah, next week, if I remember correctly, it's posing. It's posing again. Let's check. Let's see. Yeah, next week is action poses. We're going to be talking about action poses. It's going to be another lectury stream. We're going to be going over action poses and fluidity. Um, so we're going to be doing that next week if you'd like to come back to join us. But yeah, thank you so, so much for joining everyone. I'll see y'all next week. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Thank you.